Welcome to this comprehensive course on candlestick patterns in trading. In this course, you'll master the 37 most important candlestick patterns that every successful trader needs to know. First of all, let's talk about why you should learn candlestick patterns. Candlestick patterns act as leading indicators in Forex market forecasts, while conventional indicators lag behind the real price action. Candlestick patterns are based on repetitive market structures, which is why they have a high winning probability. However, Indicators are just mathematical formulas and do not take market dynamics into consideration. And the best thing about candlestick patterns is that they have a higher winning probability compared to technical indicators. So now that you know the importance of learning candlestick patterns, let's get started. First of all, let's learn the anatomy of a regular candlestick. A candlestick consists of four main parameters, closing price, opening price, and high and low prices. First, let's take a look at the bullish candlestick. In a bullish candlestick, the market opens below and closes above the opening price, forming a body. In contrast, in a bearish candlestick, the market opens above and closes below the opening price. The highest price level reached by the market, which is the top of the wick, is called the high of the candle. The lowest price level reached is called the low of the candle. Now let's look at the price paths of individual candles. In a bullish candle, the market opens at a certain level, then moves below the opening price to reach a low. After reaching this low, the market rises to make a high and then closes above the opening price but below the high, forming a small wick at the top. In a bearish candle, the market opens at the top, rises above the opening price to make the high, then moves down to reach a low. Finally, the market closes below the opening price, forming a bearish candle. Here, you can see both types of candles side by side. These are the bodies, these are the upper wicks, and these ones are the lower wicks of these candles. Now let's get to the main topic. What really are candlestick patterns? Candlestick patterns are combinations of candlesticks that predict the movement of market prices. For example, here we can see the market moving in the bearish direction. During this downward trend, there is the formation of a doji morning star. After the formation of this pattern, we can see the market trend changing from bearish to bullish. If we talk about the types of candlestick patterns, then based on the trend, these patterns are categorized into three main categories. The first ones are trend continuation patterns, the second ones are trend reversals, and finally we have ranging or sideways candlestick patterns. In this video, we are going to cover all these categories in detail, so make sure to watch the video till the end. Before we start discussing the patterns individually, let's take a close look at what you should be looking for in each pattern that you find on the chart. First of all, you should pay attention to the structure of the candle to ensure the pattern you've detected is correct. After that, you should look at its location, such as whether it has formed in a trending or ranging market. Finally, you should understand the psychology of the pattern so you can trade it profitably. First of all, let's talk about pin bar. For the bearish pin bar, the market opens, moves down briefly, then buyers push the price up. However, strong selling pressure forces the price down before closing, leaving a long upper shadow, indicating a strong rejection of higher prices by sellers. In the bullish pin bar, the candle opens and the market begins to rise, making a new high. But just as the buyers seem to be in control, sellers step in and force the price down. Yet towards the close, buyers regain momentum, pushing the price back up forming a long lower shadow and showing a rejection of lower prices by buyers and signaling potential upward movement. A pin bar often forms at key levels like support and resistance. Here, we see a bullish pin bar forming at a support zone. To understand its psychology, focus on the candle's close. It breaks below the support but closes above, showing strong buying pressure and signaling a potential trend reversal from bearish to bullish. An engulfing candle on a lower time frame often means a pin bar is forming on a higher time frame. Let's talk about the engulfing candlestick pattern. The structure of an engulfing pattern consists of two candles. This one here is a bullish engulfing candle because the bullish candlestick completely engulfs the previous candle by forming a higher high and a lower low. The price action of an engulfing candle looks like this. An engulfing candlestick often forms at the end of a trend. For example, here we can see the market moving in a bearish direction, followed by the formation of a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern at support zone. Psychologically, the bullish engulfing candlestick pattern represents a momentum reversal from sellers to buyers. That's why the market trend changes from bearish to bullish after the formation of a bullish engulfing pattern. Next, let's discuss the inside bar pattern. In an inside bar, the most recent candle closes within the range of the previous candle. The price movement of an inside bar forms an inward consolidation structure. 
An inside bar candlestick pattern typically forms at key levels, such as support or resistance zones. The psychology behind the inside bar candlestick pattern is that its breakout can provide valuable insight into the market direction. If the breakout happens in a bearish direction, the market is expected to shift towards a bearish trend. Conversely, if the breakout occurs in a bullish direction, the market is likely to move in a bullish trend. Now let's talk about Morning Doji Star Candlestick Pattern. The Morning Doji Star Candlestick Pattern consists of three candlesticks. The first candle is a large-bodied bearish candle, indicating strong selling pressure. The second candle is a doji candle, which represents indecision in the market as buyers and sellers are nearly equal in strength. The third candle is a large-bodied bullish candle, signaling a potential reversal in the trend, with buyers taking control. A critical condition to confirm this pattern is that the closing price of the third bullish candle should be at least above 50% of the first bearish candle's body. This confirmation suggests a stronger likelihood of a bullish reversal. If the closing price of the third, latest bullish candle is above the high of the first bearish candle, the chances of a successful bullish reversal increase even further. This indicates that buyers have not only regained control, but have surpassed the previous resistance level. A morning doji star candlestick pattern performs well when it forms within an existing trend. For example, here when we see the morning doji star forming at a moving average support during a bullish trend, it strengthens the case for the trend to continue in the bullish direction. The psychology behind the morning doji star is rooted in market indecision, followed by a shift in momentum. The first bearish candle shows strong selling pressure, while the doji signals hesitation and uncertainty. The final bullish candle indicates that buyers have regained control, leading to a potential trend reversal. Now, let's discuss the long-legged doji candlestick pattern. This pattern occurs when the opening and closing prices are the same, with nearly equal shadows above and below that price level. Its price path reflects a market where prices fluctuate significantly but ultimately close at the same level as they opened, forming the long-legged doji. A long-legged doji can form at key levels like support and resistance zones. When it appears, it signals market indecision and may suggest a potential trend reversal or continuation. The long-legged doji shows a tug of war between sellers pushing prices down and buyers pushing them up. Despite the swings, the market closes near the opening, signaling indecision. In a sense, the high and low of a long-legged doji on a higher time frame can act as support and resistance levels on a lower time frame. For example, in this picture, we can see the long-legged doji forming at a support zone and the later breakout above its high signals a trend reversal. Now, let's dive into the three outside down candlestick pattern. This pattern is composed of three candles. The first two form a bearish engulfing pattern, where the second candle completely engulfs the first, signaling potential weakness in the upward trend. The third candle then confirms the reversal by making a new lower high and lower low, further indicating a shift in momentum. Typically, this pattern forms near a resistance zone, acting as a strong reversal signal from a bullish to a bearish trend. In the given example, we observe the price moving in an upward direction, but when the free outside down pattern emerges, it effectively reverses the trend from bullish to bearish, highlighting the change in market sentiment. Next, let's discuss the bullish belt hold candlestick pattern in more detail. This pattern is made up of four candles. The first three candles demonstrate a clear downtrend forming consecutive lower highs and lower lows, which indicates a sustained bearish movement. However, the fourth candle is crucial. It's a large-bodied bullish candle that opens with a gap down, making a new lower low, but quickly reverses and closes within the range of the previous candle. This strong bullish candle shows a significant shift in momentum. Typically, this pattern forms near a support zone or at key bullish reversal levels, signaling the potential end of the downtrend and the beginning of an upward move. Psychologically, the bullish belt hold reflects a decisive shift in sentiment. The steady selling pressure is suddenly met with strong buying interest, showing that bulls are stepping in at key support levels and could take control, reversing the downward trend. For example, the bullish belt hold forms at a support zone where the trend shifts from bearish to bullish. Now, let's dive deeper into the bullish piercing candlestick pattern. This pattern is made up of two candlesticks, the first is a bearish candle and the second is a bullish candle that opens with a gap down but closes above the 50% mark of the previous candle's body. 
As shown in the animation, this pattern reflects a shift in market sentiment, where buyers begin to outweigh sellers, leading to a price reversal. The bullish piercing pattern often forms at key support or demand zones, signaling a potential bullish reversal. In the example provided, the pattern occurs at a demand zone, indicating that the downward trend is weakening and a bullish reversal is likely to follow. Up next, we'll discuss the bearish belt hold candlestick pattern. This pattern consists up next, we'll discuss the bearish belt hold candlestick pattern. This pattern consists of four candles. The first three are bullish, with each making higher highs and higher lows, indicating strong upward momentum. The final candle is the defining feature of this pattern. It opens with a gap up, suggesting an initial continuation of the bullish trend, but then closes within the range of the last bullish candle, marking a significant shift in sentiment. This pattern typically forms at crucial areas, like resistance zones or supply zones, where the upward trend starts to lose momentum. The gap up on the final candle initially reinforces the bullish sentiment, but as sellers step in, the price reverses and the candle closes lower, signaling a bearish shift. If we delve deeper into the psychology behind this setup, the first three candles reflect a strong and sustained bullish momentum, as buyers confidently drive prices higher. However, with the formation of the fourth candle, opening with a gap up but closing lower, it becomes clear that the momentum is faltering. This sudden change hints at the exhaustion of the bullish force, paving the way for a potential bearish reversal. It's a critical pattern to recognize, especially at key levels, as it often marks the end of an uptrend and the start of a downtrend. Moving on, let's take a closer look at the rising window candlestick pattern and its structure. This pattern is made up of two consecutive bullish candles. What makes it distinct is that after the first bullish candle forms, the second candle opens with a gap up, signaling strong buying interest, and it too closes as a bullish candle. The crucial detail here is the visible gap between the high of the first candle and the low of the second candle, which highlights the strong momentum driving the market higher. This gap is often the result of highly volatile trading conditions, where buyers are eager to push prices up, leaving no overlap between the two candles. The rising window is a continuation pattern that appears within an existing bullish trend. Its formation suggests that the current upward momentum is likely to persist, as the gap between the candles and the formation of another bullish candle confirms that buyers are still in control. This pattern is a strong signal that the uptrend will continue, providing traders with confidence to stay long or enter new bullish positions, as we can see in the example here. From a psychological standpoint, the rising window reflects strong bullish sentiment in the market. The gap up signifies increased buying pressure as traders expect higher prices, and the continuation of the bullish move further confirms that buyers are in control. This pattern shows the dominance of bulls and suggests that the upward trend is likely to persist without filling the gap that has formed. Let's take a closer look at the falling window candlestick pattern. This pattern features two consecutive bearish candles. What makes it distinct is that after the first bearish candle forms, the second opens with a gap down, showing strong selling pressure, and it closes as another bearish candle. The key detail is the gap between the low of the first candle and the high of the second, indicating strong downward momentum. This gap typically occurs in volatile markets where sellers dominate. The falling window is a continuation pattern within a bearish trend, signaling that the downward momentum is likely to persist. The gap and the second bearish candle confirm that sellers remain in control, giving traders confidence to stay short or enter new bearish positions. Psychologically, the pattern reflects strong bearish sentiment. The gap down suggests increasing selling pressure, and the continuation of the bearish move shows that sellers are firmly in control, with the downtrend expected to continue. Let's now discuss the tweezer top candlestick pattern. This is a two candle formation where the first candle is bullish, followed by a bearish second candle. A key aspect of this pattern is that the closing price of the first candle and the opening price of the second are nearly the same. Additionally, the second candle should close below the 50% mark of the first bullish candle. As a reversal pattern, the tweezer top typically forms at a resistance or supply zone. In this example, we can see the tweezer top forming, followed by a shift to a bearish trend. It's also worth noting that on a smaller time frame, a tweezer top is often equivalent to a pin bar on a higher time frame. Next, we have the tweezer bottom candlestick pattern. In this pattern, there are two candles. The first is bearish and the second is bullish. 
The key characteristic is that the closing price of the first candle and the opening price of the second candle are at the same level, signaling strong market support. Additionally, the bullish second candle closes above the 50% mark of the first candle, which strengthens the potential reversal signal. This pattern acts as a reversal indicator and typically forms at demand or support zones, a tweezer bottom forming at the golden zone of the Fibonacci retracement between 50% and 61% is considered especially effective. On lower timeframes, a tweezer bottom is equivalent to a bullish pin bar seen on higher timeframes, further confirming its strength. In this example, we can see a tweezer bottom forming, which leads to a trend reversal from bearish to bullish. Now moving on, let's talk about the Dragonfly Doji candlestick pattern. In a Dragonfly Doji, the opening and closing prices are the same, with a long lower shadow or tail, indicating strong buying pressure and forecasting a potential bullish reversal. Since this is a bullish reversal pattern, it often forms at support or demand zones, where buyers typically step in to push prices higher. It's also important to understand the difference between a Dragonfly Doji and a Hammer. While they appear similar, the key distinction is that a hammer has a small body at the top, whereas a dragonfly doji has the same opening and closing price, showing indecision before the reversal. In this example, the dragonfly doji forms at a demand zone, leading to a trend reversal from bearish to bullish after its formation, signaling a potential shift in market sentiment. Now, let's discuss the evening doji star candlestick pattern. This pattern consists of three candles and typically signals a potential bearish reversal. The first candle is a large-bodied bullish candle, indicating strong buying pressure. The second candle is a doji, representing indecision in the market as the buying momentum stalls and sellers begin to match buyers in strength. The third candle is a large-bodied bearish candle, which suggests that sellers have taken control and a reversal may be underway. A crucial condition to confirm this pattern is that the closing price of the third bearish candle should fall below at least 50% of the first bullish candle's body. Additionally, the evening doji star is a reversal pattern that typically forms at supply or resistance zones. These are areas where selling pressure increases, making it an ideal spot for a potential trend reversal. Psychologically, the evening doji star reflects a shift in market sentiment from bullish to bearish, it signals fading buying momentum and growing seller dominance, indicating a potential reversal in the trend. In this example, we can observe the evening doji star pattern, signaling a shift in trend from bullish to bearish. The formation highlights weakening buyer momentum and the emergence of stronger selling pressure. Now, moving on, let's discuss the rising three methods candlestick pattern. This formation consists of five candles and signals a bullish trend continuation. The first candle is a large-bodied bullish candle, indicating strong buying momentum. It is followed by three smaller candles that make lower highs and lower lows, often referred to as the resting phase. These smaller candles represent a temporary pause or pullback in the bullish trend, but they stay within the range of the first candle, showing that sellers are unable to push the price significantly lower. Finally, the fifth candle is another large bullish candle that breaks above the high of the first candle signaling that the bulls have regained control and the upward trend is set to continue. The rising three methods is a bullish trend continuation pattern, meaning it forms within an ongoing bullish trend. It signals that the market is temporarily consolidating before resuming its upward momentum. Psychologically, this pattern mirrors typical market behavior. After a strong impulsive move, it's common to see a brief retracement or consolidation as some traders take profits or sellers attempt to counter the trend. However, the lack of significant downward movement shows that the selling pressure is weak. When the final bullish candle breaks the first candle's high, it confirms the resumption of the bullish momentum, indicating that buyers are firmly in control and the trend is likely to continue higher. Now, let's discuss the falling free methods candlestick pattern. This pattern consists of five candles and signals a bearish trend continuation. The first is a large bearish candle, followed by three smaller candles that make higher highs and higher lows, representing a brief pullback. These smaller candles stay within the first candle's range, indicating weak buying pressure. The fifth candle is another large bearish candle that breaks below the low of the first, confirming the continuation of the downtrend. The falling free methods is a bearish trend continuation pattern, meaning it forms within an ongoing bearish trend. Psychologically, this pattern reflects a brief retracement after a strong downward move with weak buying pressure. 
When the final bearish candle breaks below the first candle's low, it confirms that sellers are still in control, signaling a sustained downtrend. Now, let's dive into the bullish abandoned baby candlestick pattern. This pattern consists of three candles and closely resembles the morning doji star, but with a crucial distinction. The doji candle in the middle opens and closes with a noticeable gap down. This pattern is considered a strong bullish reversal signal and typically forms at a key support or demand zone, indicating a potential shift in trend direction. The psychology behind the bullish abandoned baby is similar to that of a drop base rally demand zone, where the price action suggests that the bearish momentum is weakening, paving the way for a bullish reversal. In the example provided, we can clearly see the formation of the bullish abandoned baby, followed by a sharp trend reversal, signaling the start of a new bullish move. Now, let's look at the bearish abandoned baby candlestick pattern. This pattern also consists of three candles, mirroring the structure of the evening doji star, but with a key difference. The doji candle in the middle opens and closes with a gap up. The bearish abandoned baby acts as a strong bearish reversal pattern and usually forms at a resistance or supply zone, signaling the potential for a trend reversal. The psychology of this pattern is similar to a rally based drop supply zone where bullish momentum weakens, leading to a shift from bullish to bearish. Let's now discuss the bearish piercing candlestick pattern. This pattern is made up of two candles. The first is a strong bullish candle, followed by a bearish candle that opens with a gap up but closes below the midpoint of the previous bullish candle. The bearish piercing pattern signals a potential bearish reversal and typically forms at a resistance or supply zone where the prior bullish momentum starts to weaken. In the example, we can see the formation of the bearish piercing pattern forming at resistance zone, followed by a downward trend as the market reverses in a bearish direction. Now, let's examine the three white soldiers candlestick pattern. This pattern consists of three consecutive bullish candles, each opening within or near the previous candle's body and closing progressively higher. Each candle in this pattern has a small wick, showing strong upward momentum with minimal selling pressure. The three white soldiers pattern acts as a powerful bullish reversal signal and typically forms at a support or demand zone, indicating the potential for a sustained uptrend. Now, let's explore the three black crows candlestick pattern. This pattern is composed of three consecutive bearish candles, each opening within or near the previous candle's body and closing progressively lower. Each candle in the pattern has small wicks, indicating strong downward momentum with minimal buying pressure. The three black crows pattern serves as a powerful bearish reversal signal and typically forms at a resistance or supply zone, marking the potential start of a prolonged downtrend. In the example, we can clearly see the formation of the three black crows pattern, followed by a consistent downward trend, confirming the reversal from the prior uptrend. Now again, we can observe the formation of the three black crows pattern at a key supply zone. As the pattern forms, each of the three bearish candles opens near the previous candle's body and closes progressively lower, signaling the exhaustion of bullish momentum. Up next, let's discuss the high wave candlestick pattern. This pattern resembles a spinning top or long-legged daji with long upper and lower wicks and a small real body. The long wicks indicate significant price fluctuations, but the small body shows indecision as neither buyers nor sellers are in clear control. The high wave pattern typically forms at key support or resistance levels, signaling market indecision as participants struggle to determine the next direction. In this example, after the formation of the high wave pattern, a breakout occurs in the bearish direction. This confirms that sellers have gained dominance, pushing the price lower as the market decides to reverse. Now, let's dive into the three stars in the south candlestick pattern. This formation is made up of three consecutive bearish candles. Although it occurs rarely, it holds significance in technical analysis as it can provide valuable insights into potential trend reversals or continuations. Next, we have the deliberation candlestick pattern, a classic trend reversal signal. It comprises three consecutive bullish candles, with each candle becoming progressively smaller than the previous one. This shrinking size often indicates weakening bullish momentum. The pattern typically forms at key bearish reversal points like resistance zones or supply zones, where price exhaustion is likely. In the example shown, the deliberation candlestick pattern emerges, highlighting a potential shift from a bullish trend to a bearish reversal. Now, moving on, let's break down the structure of the bearish kicking pattern. 
First, we have a large bullish candlestick which gaps up significantly from the previous session. This shows strong buying pressure and optimism in the market. Next, the second candle is a large bearish candlestick that gaps down below the previous session's low. This signals a sudden shift in market sentiment, with sellers taking over decisively. The key feature here is the clear gap between the two candles showing an abrupt reversal from bullish to bearish. This is a strong signal of a potential downtrend. Now let's talk about the structure and location of the on-neck pattern. The first candle is a large bearish candlestick, indicating strong selling pressure. The second candle is a smaller bullish or neutral candlestick that opens below the first but closes near the low of the previous candle. This creates a neckline effect with the second candle failing to push higher. It is a bearish trend continuation pattern. The on neck pattern typically forms during a downtrend, often signaling a continuation of the bearish trend. It appears after a sharp move lower and indicates that despite a brief pause, sellers are still in control. Now, let's go over the upside Tsuki Gap candlestick pattern. The first candle is a strong bullish candlestick showing upward momentum. The second candle is also bullish and it opens with a gap above the previous candle, indicating strong buying pressure. The third candle is a bearish candlestick that partially fills the gap created by the second candle, but it does not close below the gap. This pattern forms in an ongoing bullish trend, acting as a continuation signal. In the example, we see an initial rise with two strong bullish candles. After the gap up of the second candle, the third bearish candle retraces slightly but fails to reverse the trend. This retracement confirms the strength of the uptrend as buyers regain control after the brief pullback. Next, let's discuss the separating lines candlestick pattern. It has two types, bullish separating lines and bearish separating lines. In a bullish separating line, a bearish candle first appears, indicating selling pressure in the market. Next, a bullish candle opens at the same level as the open of the first bearish candle and closes higher, signaling a strong recovery by buyers. In a bearish separating line, a strong bullish candle first appears, signaling buying pressure. Then, a bearish candle opens at the same level as the open of the first bullish candle and closes lower, indicating selling pressure. The bullish separating line forms during an ongoing bullish trend, typically after a brief pullback. The initial bearish candle suggests a temporary pause in the uptrend. On the other hand, the bearish separating lines pattern forms during a bearish trend. The first bullish candle hints at a possible rebound, but the second bearish candle opening at the same level and moving downward confirms the continuation of the downtrend. In the example, we can see a bearish separating lines pattern forming during a downtrend and the trend continues to move in a bearish direction after its formation. Next, let's talk about the downside Tsuki Gap candlestick pattern. Its structure consists of three candles. The first is a strong bearish candlestick, indicating significant selling pressure. The second is another bearish candle that opens with a gap down, further reinforcing the ongoing downtrend. The third candle is a bullish one, which partially fills the gap created by the second candle, but fails to close it entirely. This pattern typically appears in a downward trend, and the inability of the bullish candle to close the gap confirms that sellers are still in control, suggesting the downtrend is likely to continue. Now, let's talk about the bearish breakaway candlestick pattern. Its structure consists of five candles. The first is a strong bullish candle, indicating continued buying pressure, followed by a smaller bullish candle that gaps up, signaling slowing momentum. The third and fourth candle are another small bullish ones showing further weakening in the trend and the fifth is a strong bearish candle that closes deep into the body of the first bullish candle. This pattern usually forms at the top of an uptrend and suggests a potential reversal as sellers begin to overpower the buyers, signaling a likely shift to a downtrend. Now let's talk about the bullish kicker candlestick pattern. Its structure consists of two key candles. The first is a large bearish candle showing strong selling pressure, followed by a bullish candle that opens with a significant gap up and closes higher, completely reversing the previous bearish sentiment. The second candle's sharp change in direction signals a sudden shift in market sentiment. This pattern typically forms at the end of a downtrend and its appearance suggests a sharp reversal, with buyers taking control after an extended period of selling. In the example, a bullish kicker forms after a strong downtrend with the second candle's gap up and bullish close indicating a powerful change in momentum, signaling the start of a new bullish trend. 
Next, we have the bullish mat hold candlestick pattern, a trend continuation signal that consists of five candles. The first is a strong bullish candle, indicating significant buying pressure and upward momentum. The second candle is a small bearish or neutral one, which gaps down slightly, signaling a brief pause or consolidation in the trend. The third and fourth candles are also small and bearish or neutral, remaining within the range of the first bullish candle. This shows that while selling pressure exists, it is not enough to reverse the trend. Finally, the fifth candle is a strong bullish one, closing higher than the first candle, confirming that the uptrend is set to continue after the brief consolidation. Now let's talk about the advanced block candlestick pattern. Its structure consists of three consecutive bullish candles. The first is a strong bullish candle, reflecting ongoing buying pressure. The second candle is also bullish but smaller, often with a long upper wick, suggesting that buyers are starting to struggle. The third candle is much smaller, with another long upper wick, indicating exhaustion in the uptrend and fading bullish strength. This pattern usually appears at the top of an uptrend and serves as a warning that the upward momentum is weakening, signaling a possible bearish reversal as buyers lose control. In this example, we can see the advanced block pattern forming during an uptrend and the trend changes from bullish to bearish. Now, let's talk about the matching high candlestick pattern. Its structure consists of two consecutive bullish candles, both closing at the same or very similar high. The first candle shows strong buying pressure, continuing the uptrend. However, the second candle, despite being bullish, fails to close above the high of the first candle, signaling that buyers are unable to push prices higher. This pattern usually forms near resistance levels, where the upward momentum begins to stall. The psychology behind the matching high is that, although buyers try to continue the uptrend, they were unable to overcome the previous high, suggesting that buying power is weakening. This creates the potential for a reversal, as sellers may start to step in, anticipating a loss of bullish momentum. Now let's talk about the matching low candlestick pattern. This is a bullish reversal pattern that typically forms at the bottom of a downtrend. Its structure consists of two consecutive bearish candles, both closing at the same or nearly identical low. The first candle shows strong selling pressure, continuing the downtrend. However, the second candle, despite being bearish, fails to close below the low of the first candle, signaling that sellers are struggling to push prices lower. This pattern usually forms near support levels, where the downward momentum starts to weaken. The psychology behind the matching low is that although sellers attempted to continue the downtrend, they couldn't break past the previous low, indicating a loss of selling strength. This suggests that a potential reversal could be on the horizon, with buyers preparing to step in and push the market upwards.